I remember I saw this effect on a website probably three or four years ago. And I remember saying to myself, I'm going to use that on my website. And I tried to use it, didn't look great because my logo on my personal website by Crawford is just text, which <laughs> doesn't work well when it's rotating. But if you've got a circular logo, this code is going to work really well on your website. So what it's going to do is infinitely rotate your logo at whatever pace you want. So we'll hop on over to the screen. I'll show you how to implement it, how to change it and how it works. So we've got our logo in here and what we want to do is make it spin. So first off, we go into website and then down into website tools and then into custom CSS. I've already set up the animation here using keyframes. So you can either pause the video now, check this out and put it in, or it's going to be linked in a blog post in the description. So essentially what we say is keyframes rotation. So we give it a name and then we're saying we want to transform it from rotation of zero degrees, which is this. And we want to transform it to a rotation of 359 degrees. So one short of a full 360. And then we want to loop that infinitely. So to do that, what we have up here, which is animation, rotation, five seconds, infinite linear says basically we're using this animation, which is rotation. And we want it to go through this transformation from zero degrees to 359 degrees in five seconds. And we want that to loop. So infinitely in a linear fashion. Now, let me take off these and we're going to look for how to actually target the logo. Now, what we're going to do is click shift command and C on Mac and we're going to hover over our logo and we're going to find out what that target is. So to me, it looks like this head to title logo image. We can probably do without the image part. So I'm going to stick that here and I'm going to get rid of the image. And there we go our logo starts to rotate. If you want it to go slower, you can slow that right down or you can make it go stupidly quick. <laughs> make sure a bit dizzy, doesn't it, that one? I would just stick at five, to be honest. I think that is a nice midway point between stupidly slow and stupidly fast. So that's how you do it. As I say, it's going to be linked in a blog post in the description. So to save you manually inputting it, head there, or if, or if you don't want to click through, then feel free just to pause the video and copy this. So that is that. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch with me using the links in the description.